So guys, Scottish man then back. Before we get into this video, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and at the end, hit a comment and hit that notification bell. And I'll remind you at the end. But yeah, let's just jump into this. The traditional ancient Cossack, Cossack warrior, Alexander Uzik, uh, and much more about his talismans and um, what I noticed at the press conference today. So let's get, get let's get a little bit of background on the Zaporizhian Cossacks, Cossacks who lived beyond the forgive my pronunciation the Napier Rapids. Land is also known historically as the wild fields, which are today central and eastern Ukraine. Much of this territory is now flooded by the waters of Kakovka Reservoir. Zaporizhia and Zyk grew rapidly in the 15th century from the serfs, fleeing from more controlled parts of Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth. It became established as a well respected political entity with a parliamentary system of government. During the course of the 16th and 17th, as well as the 18th century, Zaporizhian Cossacks were a strong political and military force that challenged the authority of the Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth, the star, the star, the star, star of Russia, and the uh, and the Crimea, Crimean Khanate. The host went through a series of conflicts and alliances involving three powers, including supporting an uprising in the 18th century. Their leader signed a treaty with the Russians. This group, uh, this group was forcibly disbanded in the late 18th century by the Russian Empire, with much of the population relocated to the Cuban region of the south edge of the Russian Empire, while others found as cities in southern Ukraine and eventually became state peasants. The Cossacks served a valuable role at conquering the Caucasian tribes and in return enjoyed considerable freedoms granted by the Tsars. So... What else have we got here? There's a, a wee bit of aftermath in here as well. Um, uh, legacy. Let's have a look. No. I, but basically, you know, they they were, like it was saying in there, you know, they, they, wanted, they didn't want to be serfs. So, you know, what, what were the options? Submit. Uh, die or a strong will to to escape um establish your own communities become strong warriors they were good horsemen um they you know based themselves at, uh, at rivers in in ukraine uh, foraged and, and and grew grew their own communities and they, and they were fierce warriors uh, that were you know often caused issues according to the mainstream but how does this fearsome warrior play into Alexander Uzik? To me, you know, Alex, Alexander Uzik strikes me as a, a spiritual guy. Um, you know, may, maybe a man of a man of God, I think. Um, but you know, certainly at a deeper level than the the superficial uh, Christian that, that that you would get today. I think, you know, things. Uh, Things that make me believe that is just he's just in that warrior mindset right now, you know. Um, his his manager Alex Krushek was saying, you know, Alexander Uzik's, um, you know, holding his breath underwater, almost almost passing out and dying after four minutes and forty one seconds, you know. And whether that's true is irrelevant. Uh, I would say more than likely, you know, in a 40, 45 degree heat, cycling a hundred miles. You know, insane stuff. Swim, you know, swimming sort of by breaststroke or funk or whatever it is, ten kilometers over four hours. Insane stuff. But these, these are these are the kind of levels that you know. Uzik's willing to go to, and this, you know, that this that kind of stuff for the average person is is unthinkable, and it brings out, you know, a uh, an admiration, a spine tingling, hair on your neck kind of emotion. And you know that that draws power within itself. You know, a lot of people will be watching that and go, "Well, that's that's insane." And that natural power will be is is drawn in by Alexander Usyk when he's, you know, just it's almost just getting like crowd support. Um. 
especially with everything that's been going in the media, his, his foundation, what's been happening in Ukraine, etc. Um, the, the, the media have pushed, pushed that pretty hard. So, you know, they, that's, that's energy that, 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 that they're, they're taking from people. And Alexander Uzik is taking that energy as well. And he, he's going to manifest a beast in this fight, I think. I think he's going to be too much for, uh, for Anthony Joshua. Um, you know, even things like the wee talisman, the wee cuddly uh, donkey, whatever it was, the wee fluffy toy he had from his daughter, you know, that takes energy in another way because it uh, appeals to other people's emotions. You know, he said it's a talisman. Uh, a, a talisman is, a you know, traditionally a, a magical object. Don't ask me. I don't know anything about them in, in any depth. But, you know, it, it draws power. And that draws power because people go, oh, man, he's, he's got his daughter's wee toy and... That that draws power and and you know, just people's attention on that with those positive emotions, manifest themselves into greater energy and elevating himself, in my opinion. Um, things like, you know, uh, even just the singing at the end, you know, for me, uh, really puts a, you know, just. <laughs> It's, it's, it's hard to say it's Alexander Ruzik but it's like um, it's a a medieval warrior he's just got himself into that mindset I think he uh, he, he's, he's, he, he actually believes that he's like you know in the, the 16th 17th century and he's you know fighting for the uh, for the freedom of Ukraine and himself you know these people were uh, fierce warriors uh, that you know, we're, we're granted immense freedoms because because of the ferocity. Who's who's going to put them down? You know, and he's you have to have that mentality in life to succeed. And I think Alexander Uzik has got that. He knows, you know, he did well in the first fight, but he knows it, that that same deal ain't going to be good enough against AJ. You know, and on the other hand, if AJ can beat an Alexander Uzik in this state, you know. The the best you know everyone's saying he's ever been, then. Hey, credit to AJ. He he probably go down. He probably carry on his career and probably go down. As a as a great in my opinion, you know I think um, over the last couple of years AJ's had his downfalls and that and he, he you know I do have criticisms of him etc. Um, because he was rushed in his career and you know. He, he didn't have the time to develop fighting, you know, lower level opposition like people like Tyson Fury, etc. Um, because there was so much hype around him, he just got pushed and pushed and pushed, filling out stadiums one after another. Um, so, you know, for me, he's he's fought he's fought great opposition, beat be loads of good guys, you know. I I don't think he 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 will do it, but if he can, credit to him. I think you know if 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 he can. Get Uzi because he's coming off the ropes with, with with the body shots and you know uh, sort of faint with the legs. You know how he he faints down uh, with the jab and and sort of like almost crouches down and comes up uh, with with the hook. You know that that's good power technique, but it's also you know something different for him rather than him being upright. And that's gonna that would throw you off. Um, so yeah, I think I think Joshua's looking good. He's looking fast. I do agree with the guys that, you know, if Joshua can of get him out in six, seven, eight rounds, I think Uzi's going to be putting it on him, really putting it on him. And I do think Uzi's going to be in, in a bit of trouble in this fight. But again, I just think he's, he's going to have too much for AJ. But you guys let me know uh, what you think about the analysis of the, the presser. Um... I, I'm actually quite keen to learn a bit more about the the Cossacks in general. Um, quite interesting. If you guys have got any more information or anything you want to add or um, even correct me if I've got anything wrong, ha happy to accept any respectful comments below. Um, remember, comment, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And I'll catch you guys soon. Much love.